Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So if you ever tried to learn to draw and you've had thoughts which made you feel like the odds were stacked against you, don't worry, this happens to all of us. So in today's video, I'd like to share with you some misconceptions about learning to draw and how you can overcome them so that you can really reach your full potential with drawing. The first misconception when it comes to learning to draw is thinking that you need the best materials to draw well. It's really easy to get caught up in wanting the best materials rather than actually just using what you already have. And I can tell you from my own experiences and in my own past when I started learning to draw as a kid, you can learn to draw and use whatever tool you have. It's just about using the tools that you have and learning to use them in the best way. I've had a lot of drawings from my childhood and my past, which I would think they're pretty good, pretty good line drawings. Even some of them are shaded pretty well. And I didn't have the best materials. I didn't have like the best pencils in the world or the best, or even a set of drawing pencils. Just use one pencil and some regular old copier paper from the printer. Will high quality, expensive materials be better, so to speak? They will be somewhat better in terms of uh, maybe how they feel or what they're able to achieve, but they're not gonna help you create better art, especially when it comes to paint, they're gonna have more pigment in them, more color, and the mixing is gonna be different. But when it comes to act, the actual creation of drawing, having the best materials or the most expensive materials is not gonna improve your proportions or your composition or your shading. That's gonna come down to your skill, your patience, your determination, and the effort and time that you put into it. The second misconception is thinking that you need to go to art school to learn to draw. This may have been more necessary in the past, many many years ago but now with the internet and just the free access to materials and everything out there courses online i have a course myself on my website you can check that out there's so many avenues of learning to draw out there some people still would like to have one-on-one -on -one maybe with someone everybody learns differently i learned to paint and to draw uh, a lot from online buying video courses and things like that over many many years over the last 10 years really helped elevate my painting skills and also my drawing skills. So I think art school and spending that much money on school, especially in the US, it's just not necessary if you want to learn to draw. But enrolling in some kind of course online or some kind of course that's not necessarily tied to an art school can be beneficial. But nowadays, you could probably learn stuff just by watching YouTube. And that's the crazy world that we live in is that we kind of have everything at our fingertips and if you do enough digging and you put enough effort into it, you can learn and be proficient at it. The third misconception is a huge one I've seen everywhere is that when once you learn to draw or have some skills with drawing, you can draw anything you want out of your head or from your imagination. And the reason people think this is they think artists like myself or someone who has a lot of skill with drawing, they think that we don't use reference photos. And I will tell you, this is one of the biggest misconceptions out there. Almost every professional artist out there, depending on what what they draw or what they're used to drawing, most of them will use reference photos probably 80 to 90% of the time. Now there's some artists out there that they've drawn something for years and years and years, so many thousands of times. They have like a mental library. They can kind of draw anything out of their head. I can imagine that they probably still from time to time will reference material or reference a model from life and always be sharpening those skills and sharpening their memory. So that's a huge misconception. I always use reference photos for what what I draw and I do try to manipulate them when possible and if necessary, but definitely you're not gonna be able to draw anything out of your head or from your imagination when you have good skills. It just doesn't translate like that. It takes, it's a whole nother skill to be able to draw something from your imagination and something from out of your head and make it look realistic. That's a completely different skill that you have to conquer uh, when it comes to learning to draw. The fourth misconception is that you need talent to be able to draw. Don't get me started on talent, man. I hear it all the time. I don't have, I wish I had this gift. I don't have the talent to be able to draw like you. I just don't have this talent. I'm not born with this. I don't believe I had that either. Even if you think I do, even if I actually do, it doesn't account for the effort and time that I put into drawing to get to where I am now. Maybe I have this natural ability to have more pressure sensitivity and be aware of subtleties and nuances that maybe somebody else doesn't have. Maybe somebody is just heavy handed and they don't have this sensitivity to the environment or to their drawings. Maybe that's something that comes natural, more natural to me. Maybe that's possible. Or being able to measure things with my eye and stuff like that and judge things. There's still a lot of work and a lot of effort that 
that is put into this, drawing is a skill. It's something that you can improve over time. And it's it's learned just like music, just like any other skill that you want to learn out there. Drawing is no different. Just forget about talent, whether you have it or not. No one cares. Who cares? If you want to learn to draw, put in the effort and the time, the patience, practice, determination. You can do it. The fifth misconception is that you can learn to draw quickly. So the first thing I want to say this is about this, why would you want to learn to draw quickly? Now I understand most people just, they want to be able to do things now. We live in the world of instant gratification, right? We can get notifications on our phone about something that's happening now and see everything now. Everything is now, now, now. But easy things aren't fulfilling. If you were able to draw overnight, you're not going to appreciate it as much as if you have to put time and effort and ability into it. You're going to appreciate it more and it's going to be, you're going to enjoy the, the process more. And I think if you just learn to draw overnight, you're not going to have all this patience with the process of drawing and making mistakes. You're going to be not as confident. You'll fall apart very quickly. You'll be fragile. It's very important to have this skill of, of patience and determination and building it up over time and taking your time with it. Some people are going to be able to learn to draw quickly. Some people are going to take a lot longer time and everyone's different. There's all these different ranges in between of people. I say don't worry about learning to draw quickly. You're probably not going to be able to do it quickly. And that's why most people give up because they think it's easy. They think that they can do it quickly. It's not the case. It's going to take time, practice. The sixth misconception is that you make too many mistakes when drawing. Most artists, if you're, an, a real, if you're a real artist, you don't make these many mistakes. And that's just not true. Every time I draw, I always make mistakes. Sometimes when I'm starting a drawing, I'll have to redraw the initial sketch like five times. And it gets frustrating, but I stay patient and I keep learning from each process that I do, each sketch that I do. There's never like too many mistakes you can make. You're always going to like keep improving. And eventually, if you stick with it, you'll probably make less and less mistakes. There's always going to be mistakes made, but you do want to try to learn from your mistakes. That's the important thing. The important thing is to get you get comfortable with making mistakes. Don't focus on the negative aspect of the process. Focus on accepting the reality that mistakes are part of the process and focus on what is working and try to do more of that. And the seventh and last misconception is you have to draw every day to get good at it. It may even hurt you to draw every day, if, especially if you're starting out. You may want to space it out more. Take breaks when necessary. I think it's better to draw a little bit every day rather than just draw a whole lot on the weekend. But everyone's different. Uh, sometimes it is good. I think it's good to do both, actually. It's good to draw quick sketches and then sometimes maybe once or twice a month to do a really long drawing, take a few hours on it. And I think that'll really help improve your drawings, but you don't have to draw every day actually. I think for the most part, once you learn the skill of drawing, and this is my theory, is that it's really like riding a bike. Once you get back into it, that muscle memory will return after a little while. It's not gonna be exactly like riding a bike. It may take you a little bit longer to get back into it. If you've been drawing for a long time, I noticed this with myself, I drew for many years, and then I stopped for a long time. And then when I got back into drawing, I noticed that most of my skill wasn't actually gone. It just needed to be refined a little bit. Even though I don't draw every day or I didn't draw every day, that skill still stuck with me. Just consistent practice is better than doing it every day and stressing yourself out too much and being worried about it. I'd rather that you just did it a few times a week, two to three times a week and was consistent with it all the time. That's gonna be better. And uh, you don't have to draw every day to get good at it. So I hope going over these misconceptions kind of helps you gain a new perspective of learning to draw and that a lot of these beliefs we hold in our mind are actually just limiting ourselves. If you believe something, then it becomes true to yourself. We don't want to hold these negative beliefs, stuff that limits us, stuff that makes us feel less powerful, you know, powerless, helpless to try to create and do things that we love to do that we want to do. So hopefully seeing explanations of these misconceptions and how there are misconceptions, but so many people believe these about talent and having the best materials and that you need to draw every day. These are all just misconceptions that aren't necessarily true. I hope that you'll stick with the drawing and keep learning, keep pushing yourself and being disciplined with it, stay consistent. You'll eventually improve. You'll keep improving and just get comfortable with making mistakes. It's part of the process. Hope that you found this video helpful and valuable. Be sure to check out other videos on my channel. I make videos on creativity, curiosity, productivity, drawing, art in general. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friends.